So disassembly of the firearm could be done with these screwdrivers that come with it. Before that though, I'll just show you the cleaning kit comes in this plasticky little container. And what we have is a cleaning rod itself. Which brass high quality. You've got one of those bristle brushes here for cleaning it out. You've got a jig of sorts to push cloth through to clean it out. Suppose that they use a special fiber like they use for cleaning other large bore guns. I don't have any of it. I'll see if I can find some at the plumbing store because supposedly they use the same stuff for going around toilet bowls and stuff. And for when you have big uh, problems with your bore and you need something that actually scrapes it out really well you've got this thing that they call a tornado brush or something like that I've heard you're not supposed to really use this if you like to keep your barrel looking good because it can scratch it according to the internet but once again that's the internet and I'm not going to try it just in case because I don't need it anyway but I can't guarantee it's anything near right. So, I'm not going to bother with that right now. The gun itself does have a chrome barrel, like I mentioned before. What we'll do is a basic, just to take it apart, show you how, first off, how easy it comes apart. So, we'll start by closing the action and much like any VZs they've got these captive pins on it you push on that just like any shotgun double barrel shotguns have it and how this one locks in is like some of those older pistols that you see, the older revolvers it locks with a it locks onto the top of the receiver like that. Anyways, now that it's unpinned, you just pull on it and the barrel comes right off for easy cleaning, storage, and other such things. We've got a pair of screws in here that allows you to remove the wood, so we'll do that now and we'll see what's underneath. This is actually my first time taking off front ends like this. We'll see what it does if parts fly out like they can normally do, I guess. Got a screw up here. I really don't know what that's going to do. I'm going to take it out. that question. How do you see? That came off and now this should come off too. And there you go. Wood comes off. Nothing except the marks from the company are underneath there. And now you can see just how this is in order to pull off the j extractor here. Uh, if I could get it to focus a little bit, it would be nice. There you go. So you got the extractor here. To take it off, you'd have to get that little clip off there. You get the clip, yeah. You have to get the little clip off, and then it'd pull right out. I'm not going to bother doing that because I don't need to. I should clean the underneath of this since it never had been cleaned. As you see, there's still a layer of uh, cosmoline style stuff under it. So now I can put this back down. 
and that's your disassembled front end. Actually, before I do that, I could show you. These are the sights, so you got a pretty nice little sight picture from it. As you see, that's 50 meters right there. And if you flip up the sight, now you've got in the window here, it's 75, up here is 100. Just to show you the slight amount that has to be lifted up to get those distances. So you can tell that the projectile moves much faster than the stuff you're firing out of your flare pistols. Next part of this disassembly that I'll do is the back end. You remove the screw here. Just like your VZ rifle, if you're going to do that. Add another dent to your piece. And now this whole piece should be able to just come out, separate. Nice basic design. You've got your, well, talk about this right away. So here you've got your safety. When your safety moves, it just moves back and forth there and that just blocks I don't know if you could see it through there the safety goes and it blocks the trigger from being able to move down I don't know if it's yeah so you see the trigger is blocked from moving down you push the safety forward, it no longer blocks from moving down, and you can pull it and it fires a gun. Very basic. And that's cocked. See, there's not much in there. You could remove all the pins and take it apart, but you know what? I don't really feel like playing with springs right now. This is basically a field strip on it, so just clean off whatever you couldn't get to before and set it aside it's right there, very basic now we'll see inside the gun sorry, launcher so you guys don't get all mad that I might be giving the ATF a reason for taking away your toys anyways in there you can see the actual firing pin And you can see it in there. And it's up in there too. And as you see, the whole piece inside there moves. When I activate the barrel opening piece here. As you see that it's moving, what it actually does is it also cocks a hammer. So the hammer, as you cock, as you open up the barrel, you push right to the end and it cocks the hammer by pushing on the on the actual hammer in this case. This spring is stays in this direction, obviously, because that's the only way it makes sense. If you take it off, you can put it in the opposite way. Up here, it doesn't really cause much of an issue, but at the same time, don't bother with it. Put it in the right one. You will have less issues. And that's the basics. Taking it apart more than this isn't really needed unless you're replacing parts in that. And as you can see, most of it is just by, if you pull this off and you pop the pin in here, as you see it stays locked open here that's just by this piece here and when the barrel comes back down and the lock goes in place basically pushes on this and locks the gun in place and allows you to fire it so that's the basics of this launcher putting it back together is just as easy 
put that on like that. Get your pistol group back in place. And screw your screw back in. Make sure it's all centered, so it's not loose. Nice torquing on the. Oh, I didn't torque it enough, I guess. Oh, that should be good. Yeah, there you go. And now, lastly, I'm going to put back together the front end here. And we'll start by putting the rear bolt back on. here and you reassemble it like that so it's very easy to take it apart to the point where it cleans easily so if you really wanted to you could take off the wood and just dunk the whole thing in hot water if you want to clean it out really well and then give it an oiling once you've taken it out of the hot water and I'll just take this you could push it on like that and should lock right in there like that and your guns back together Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. This, by the way, if anyone's wondering about that, it's for a site of some sort. No one really knows what site it's for because either nobody's answered their questions or it just disappeared out of history. Some say it's a night vision site. I figure it's possible maybe it's just the mount so you could put a quick attach one like on the uh, VZs and the AKs. A side mount. Technically, I guess you can mount the scope onto it because as it is part of this, when you open it, it'll come up with the actual barrel so you don't have to worry about it getting in the way. So like I said, a lot of people assume it's for a night vision sight, and I really don't know what it's for, so if anyone has answers to that, if anyone's ever seen a mount that looks a little bit weird, don't know what gun it's from, let me know about it and we'll see if it has to do with this. Thanks again for watching.